here with some gameplay of the Daniel deck. Let's take a look at my reserve, familiarizing myself with its contents because I'm going to be searching through it a lot this game. This deck does a lot of searching from the reserve. All right, let's try opening hand here. Looks like we drew some meek lost souls, put those into play. This game, I didn't have access to voice chat, so you'll see a little bit of messaging going back and forth, resolving our lost souls abilities and also taking care of our start card abilities. So a viewer said last game, I think he said lost soul abilities happen before star card abilities. I'm gonna have to get it, figure out a way to how to remember that, what the correct way to do it is. Is it stars before lost souls or lost souls before stars? I just don't know. Okay, so it looks like I run the die roll. I decide to go first. I have a really strong opening hand because I can go turn one Daniel banding to Michael and get a really strong attack, even though I don't really have any good enhancements to back it up. I can also plop down the Foretelling Angel, so I have my three best Daniel cards in my opening hand. Really can't complain about that. Even have some Astrologers and some Defense. So here's are some things that I'm thinking about right now. He has a Lost Soul in play that says negate other characters in, negate characters in other territories. So I want to put out my Babylonian Merchants, but it's going to be negated. We're telling Angel, Michael, and Daniel can't be negated, so that's good for me. He's doing some stuff with his Lost Souls, drawing cards, trying to find what he's looking for, putting that card underneath his deck. Great, I'll take my turn. So I like to do this thing where I draw a little box on Lackey, and then I put cards in the top in that little box. And that's going to be an effect revealing the top card of my deck. I don't know a better way to do it, so if any of you guys have any ideas about a better way to do it, but this way it seems pretty effective. So I just have to go back to my deck and click it. So it looks like I got a bunch of Daniel cards on the top. Effectively drew me two cards right here. There's a three woes on top. Good to know. So such a good card. Get my heroes ready for the big attack. Also, I'm trying to keep my hand advantage down because they have a lost soul that cares about how many cards are in my hand compared to their hand. So you never know when it might come in handy. There's pros and cons to putting stuff out and keeping it in hand. All right, rescue attempt. Daniel abandoned Michael. So I'm negating fortresses, negating evil characters, negating New Testament enhancements, tossing multicolor enhancements. So my attack requires some really specific answers right now. It's shutting off a lot of potential things opponent could have. Yep, and they're just going to give up a soul here. 1 0, take the early lead. Not bad. All right, opponent, let's see what you got. Here's Temple. Protects heroes, gospel humans, and territory from harm and does some tossing stuff. Plays out a Daenerys, gets a Roman, draw some cards. So they're turning through their deck right now. I don't really care about Claudius. He's protected from dominance and New Testament heroes. So I'm an Old Testament deck. I don't even run Angel of the Lord. So the cool thing about Daniel, he also negates Herod's, or Herod's Temple. So solid. This Daniel's so solid. Okay, played a Bethlehem Stable. Protects his hand, deck, and reserve from opponents. Plays a Judas. Just going to make any... Attempts on my end to draw cards really hard. Judas punishes draw by taking cards from my hand. How wooed. Okay. Grabbing some stuff from his deck with his little disciples. Turn one Matthew. That's going to be really strong. I have one, two, three, four. He's going to draw four. Not good. So Matthew, for those who don't know, he can reveal my hand when he attacks. And he draws cards equal to number of brigades revealed. So since I have four different color brigades in my hand, He's going to draw four cards. So if I was expecting Matthew, maybe I should have played my Astrologers, played my Nebuchadnezzar, limit the amount of cards he was going to draw. But if I did that in the blind, I leave myself open to, uh, you know, heroes attacking and choosing to block or stuff, affecting my evil characters in my territory. So it's a trade-off. He grabs a Nazareth with his Simon Peter. So that's going to shut down all my cards at search. So my second coming effectively is dead. Crowd's Choice effectively dead. Is a big strong attack here, but I think I have a good block coming up. I'm thinking of going Nebuchadnezzar in the Seas by Babylon. Is if I block with Nebuchadnezzar, I have initiative because of his numbers, and I play Seas by Babylon, capture two humans, and then if he tries to negate it with special initiative, it gets tossed by Nebuchadnezzar's special ability. So, so really strong turn one by opponent here. You can see how much stuff he has. He has twelve cards in his hand. Meanwhile, I only have four. Looking good. All right, here comes Seized by Babylon. Gonna capture, capture some people. 
Yep, just typing in chat here. Seized by Babylon allows to take a fortress and play it. I think taking Nazareth here was actually a bad idea. Nazareth is like a very symmetrical effect. So me having it in play actually doesn't do anything. It's not like I protect my stuff. You know, it's affecting both players. So I probably should have grabbed the stable or Herod's temple here. Okay, he's going to play dominant during battle. So Nebuchadnezzar is still in battle. Right on victoriously. If an evil character is in battle, add a hero to battle. So this allows him to like keep going with the rescue attempt, even though I, I shut down his heroes. So a sneaky play by opponent. He's going to use an ascension to ban stuff into battle. Oh wait, that's tossed because of Nebuchadnezzar. Okay. And then authority of Christ. Discard all evil characters that you do not control. Cannot be negated if used by a meek disciple. So my character is going to hit the bin. Good thing I didn't play my astrologers, right? He would have died as well. So everything's a trade-off, you know? Give him his own Matthew as a lost soul rescue. I don't want that Matthew coming back ever. It's looking pretty bad for me. I have three cards in my hand, two of which don't do anything. And then Nazareth. Drew three woes, so at least I can negate Nazareth if I want to. So these are my three cards I drew for turn. That's the card that I have on top of my deck after drawing three for turn. Okay. I don't have many options here. I don't have cards that can draw me other cards. And even if I did, they get punished by Judas. I'm just thinking about what options I have here. Mm. At least I can like block and do astrologers and grab that evil card off the top of my deck. So that's something, but it's not, it's not, it's not exciting. I'll go on again with my Daniel Michael. Feel pretty good because I have faith in Bowd. It can um, interrupt the battle and win me the battle if, if I things get hairy. Yeah, I'm just looking over all these different cards that are protecting each other and preventing me from doing things. It's it's tough right now. He put a hero out that negates artifacts or neutral cards while he has a meek hero. So even my artifacts are shut down. Okay, he's going with a terrifying beast block. He's going to try to discard Michael here. And I'm left with either underdecking a card, matching Michael's brigade from my territory or hand. So I have a difficult decision to make. Do I underdeck my faith and bowed or foretelling angel? Um, foretelling angel is so good, but I, I really wanted to hold on to this faith and bowed because if anything bad happens to my characters, I just lose the game on the spot. And if I lose my foretelling angel here, that's not the end of the world for me because I still have Daniel and Michael. So although it is annoying, it's it's doable. I don't know. Could have been a bad idea. Okay. Didn't have anything. I get another lost soul. So right there, you see this, the power of Michael and Daniel just working together. They don't even need the big, big band. They can just get in there together and do some damage. Okay. Let's so see what opponents got here. I'm trying to figure out when's the best time to pull the trigger on three woes. Because Nazareth is hurting him. He's going to try to use a star ability from John, but Nazareth prevents the search. So Nazareth is good sometimes, but obviously I think it's hurting me more than it's hurting him. Okay underdecking a hero from each hand with his star ability. John's another disciple I have to worry about. My defense is just kind of not really doing anything right now. Okay, let's see what rescue attempt he can muster up here. And Judas. Judas coming in. Gets to draw two cards. Judas is so good. He can be a hero. He can be a villain. He can draw you cards. He can take cards. So much value. Okay, looks like his hand was revealed for some reason, so I just hit that. I went wing line into a band. And then I was hoping to like grab right now, trying to figure out if Nazareth stops my astrologers from triggering. I don't think it does. Okay. So I know evil cards on top of my deck. So that's pretty easy choice with astrologers, unless I wanted to get really lucky and try to grab something else. Okay. He has to discard something from his territory. What's he going to trash? Okay. He gets rid of his emperor Claudius. Yeah. That card wasn't really doing anything, huh? Let's see what he does. Judas versus some Babylonians. Okay, New Covenant, hero may ban to any number of New Testament heroes. So he's bringing in the boys. He's bringing in the disciple bros. Okay, revealing a dominant from hand to toss the next evil enhancement. Draw two. Yikes. So my swift horses that I was planning on playing now just has to get tossed. I'm just thinking, what could I possibly do to prevent a rescue here? Okay, so I think I'm going to have to toss that. Here's my desperate plan. I'm going to negate Nazareth with my three woes. have to set it to evil. And I'm going to crouch choice for something. Looking at my reserve again, I think I should have grabbed a scattered here. That would have been really good. Because uh, I would have kept my characters in battle. And I would have got rid of their stuff. But I decided to search my deck. 
or something. <laughs> Anything that could help me. Let's see. Yoke of Iron, I could capture three, but that could be negated. Nebuchadnezzar's Pride, I could set aside all characters in battle, but I'm worried about if he has a negate in hand. I mean, it's, it's like a solid strategy, but if I had another card that could back that up, I think I'd go for one of those plays, but looking at my reserve. So for Crouch Choice, I think you have to declare whether you're going to search your reserve or your deck for the card that you want to search for. You can't like search your deck and say, oh, actually, let me search my reserve instead. So, okay, going for Wages of Sin, which can grab a discard card from my reserve and add it to battle. So I can play Death or Unrighteous, discard all evil cards in battle, shuffle all cards in line to bondage. So this is a really desperate attempt for me to prevent the rescue because I lose all those cards, but my land of bondage and all five of my lost souls are shuffled. There's nothing left for him to do. But Peter back in his deck. So so I have a I have a soul lead two to one. And luckily he doesn't get any lost souls from all that. I had to use everything. So Nazareth is shut down. I have to decide if I want to keep it on Nazareth or switch to some other good card on my upkeep. Okay, <laughs> I have nothing. Opponent has eight cards in hand. I have two. Let's see, second coming, if I can fire it off to get like Son of God, I guess. But I'd rather like hold it to draw Son of God than okay. So here I make a misplay. This card is negating neutral cards. So what I did right here was actually not allowed. I was trying to search my deck for a hero and put it into play. But in retrospect, I realized this is not something I could have done. So all these different territory class effects are sometimes hard to keep track of, but your opponents could, should be able to help you with that. But I think this one just slipped through both of our minds. Ultimately, yeah, we'll see. I don't think this guy adds much to my strategy anyways. I was like, what's the best here I could probably grab? Probably it was going to be the, the foretelling angel. I decided to go for a guy that can band. Okay, because I want to go Meshach and band it into Daniel, band it into Michael. So this line leaves me weak to like a card that negates Meshach. If they negate Meshach, they can send Daniel and Michael back to my territory. But I figured Meshach, I can prevent the next enhancement. You know, I don't want to draw a card because of Judas. I think a Foretelling Angel would have been better if my artifact worked here. All right, Saul of Tars is coming out. Because Nazareth is negated, his search ability can, go, can work. So Meshach is good against... Uh, solve Tarsus because usually they grab um, unsuccessful from the reserve. So Meshach would prevent unsuccessful if they tried to just go with that right away. So hopefully they don't have a uh, just a random Dan random gray enhancement to play. We're clarifying here. Michael says toss uh, multicolor evil enhancements. And so if he tries to play evil enhancement, we're asking each other, does that count as Meshach's prevent? And yes, yes it does. We I checked. So you can just toss like a useless card and then go for the unsuccessful here. And I don't think there's a lot I can do. Maybe I can second coming and grab. Let me check. the. Uh, let's see. I have Chronicle of the Kings. But I don't think that will do anything. Stricken, tossing. Okay. Toss for five. His power and his toughness is reduced by five, I think. I'm not exactly sure how tossing works. So like if he has a five point enhancement, does he decrease my character by five? Toughness and one power? I don't know. All right, unsuccessful comes out. Nothing I can do about that. The battle's ended as a stalemate. There's no special initiative, so I can't interrupt it or anything. I'm trying to think of my, I don't know. Maybe I should have switched my Nazareth. My Because on my upkeep, I get to choose to switch my three woes over to something else. So maybe if I expected he was going to try and pull a solve Tarsus, I could have moved my three woes to a different card to to make Nazareth start hurting him again. But I think I was tunnel visioned on the fact that I was going to search my deck with the White Throne. So a couple, I would say, misplay on my part. I think I should have turned Nazareth back on. My, not a lot going in my hand. At least I can search with my mounted forces. Yeah. So the all three cards that I drew through turn were like search cards. And I was like, oh, Nazareth is just going to shut those off. So I should just keep negating Nazareth. You know, got a little bit tunnel visioned here. Okay, they just played a card that lets them do four cards. It's an artifact. You can activate it on Peter. That's solid. Really solid card. Okay, his hand and deck is protected because of that lost soul. I think it's called the crowd's lost soul. I don't think I have anything that targets his hand or deck, but other decks, that's really relevant. So right here is where I think I realized that 
that card is negating my artifact. So I take that into account now. Just looking at his characters, he has really strong attacks. Let's see what he decides to do. Revealing a good dominant to toss the next evil enhancement. So even if I go mounted forces into evil enhancement, I, it'll just get tossed. So it's a battle challenge because I don't have any lost souls out. So I'm just thinking, is it worth it to even like try to do anything here? And no, no, it's not. <laughs> Maybe if he wasn't trying to toss something, but I don't know. There's just no reason. Maybe if I had like a, I don't know, this is just, I'm just thinking out loud. But like if I had a card like Great Image, which discards all heroes in their territory after battle, and they didn't have Herod's Temple out, maybe it'd be worth it to block that battle challenge. Okay, discarding down to hand size, so many cards. But because of the death of Unrighteous, that actually kind of saved me another turn here. No Lost Souls to rescue, so. He also has the Lost Souls card, which if he drew any Old Testament Lost Souls and put them into play, he would have generated Lost Soul tokens in my territory. So also got lucky there. All right, I drew some Lost Souls for turn. Storehouse, that'll get me some stuff. Okay, do I want to switch three woes now? I drew Storehouse, so that's a card that searches. I don't know. Maybe I should just keep it on there. Thinking about my options. Cast into the Lion's Den. All right, I'll switch it to Negate Judas. Deactivate my artifact since it's negated. Not going to be doing anything for me. And I decide to go for uh, attack with just Daniel Michael because I was worried about him being able to negate Meshach. Let's say he like played three woes. He would just negate my banding chain and it'd just be really bad. So trying to play around that. Doing a slightly weaker attack, but just trying to anticipate different things coming out here. Looking at his characters. Mm -hmm. Feel, still feeling pretty good because of Faith and Bowed. It's a good get out of jail free card. All right, Brood of Vipers coming in. Negate an underdeck Meshach. Okay. He swaps that out for the Entrapping Pharisee. Good thing I didn't play my storehouse out or this would have been, cannot be negated. So I think something opponent didn't do is reveal a New Testament great card from hand. Always something good to remember you have to do in order to play Trapping Pharisees. So I discard Cast into Lines then, not going to use it. All right, let's see. Oh, just dies. Okay. Michael and Daniel are just crazy with it. Okay. So three to one now, the soul score. Soul count, land of redemption score, whatever you want to call it. What do you guys call it? I don't know. Okay, plopping down the storehouse now. Trapping Pharisees is gone. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Feel confident putting the storehouse out. Start getting some good cards from my reserve. I need some. Oh, here comes three woes. What's it going to do? Storehouse. So that was short lived. Storehouse literally did nothing. Great. Well, it burned up his three woes. Okay, let's see. Mary the Holy Virgin. When you may negate and reserve an evil card in territory. Yikes. So I was relying on that three woes to negate Nazareth so to turn back on, to turn my second coming back on. So this is a big deal for me. Um, I go for a block here, just forcing my opponent to do something. I can't search my reserve because of Nazareth. And for those wondering, the reason they can search their reserve and their deck and stuff is because they have the, uh, the manger out. And because the manger went out, went into play before Nazareth and I own Nazareth, it's like they're protecting from my Nazareth, if that makes sense. So that's another reason why like taking Nazareth was a really dumb idea because um, it enables them to keep searching for stuff if they played the manger first. Okay, Resurrection Dominant got played, which allowed them to ban three different characters into battle. And I don't have any answers for that. Because Nazareth, Nazareth, why? All right, three to two. It's a close game. So let's see, he played three woes good. So on his upkeep, he could swap it back to Nazareth if he really needs to, you know, if he has a second coming in his hand. He plays Son of God, scores even 3-3. Three, three. The star ability of virgin birth will not work because of Nazareth. So Nazareth is utterly shutting me out of the game. Surprised it's still like this close. We're telling Angel's a good draw. Let's see if I can turn through my deck a little bit. There's a Daniel card. Okay, he's asking for Dom initiative. Christian Martyr will take out my Michael, Chief Prince. So that's a big deal. Now I don't have Michael. I'm drawing some cards though, so this is good. Uh, one of the only lost souls in the deck that's not a Daniel lost soul. So maybe I should put it, convert it to a Daniel lost soul. It's these little percentage points like that. I don't know. It's a trade off. Everything's a trade off. So Virgin Birth, effectively worthless. Nazareth, <laughs> which is ironic because shouldn't the Virgin Birth like happen in Nazareth? Why are they so anti combo? Whatever. Something needs to be good against the Virgin Birth, or else that card be too good. Okay, I'm doing a preemptive banish here. 
make sure my attack works. I feel like I'm reaching the end of the finish line, running out of gas. I just need to try and pull a miracle off here. A rescue attempt is looking pretty weak. I don't have any good enhancements to play. Just a tiny band, 2-5 banded to my Daniel, and that can also band to my 4-4. Four four. So it's not ideal to band for telling Angel in a battle, but in situations like this, I don't feel like I have much of a choice. So luckily all my stuff is being protected and Daniel's doing a bunch of negating. So, you know, this might be enough to get it done. Oh, he's negating fortresses. So I could play my second coming here. I really wanted to. When it has one card left in their deck and I have 25, just shows you how many more cards my opponent's been drawing this game compared to me. So, okay. They're blocking with their brood of vipers, 12-12. I barely just have enough power to kill them. Let's see. They're going to ask for some initiative here. Let's give it to them then, shall we? Okay. Interrupt the battle. Band to evil human. Discard a hero. Okay. They're going to do the band, but since my stuff is protected, I don't think they can discard. So there comes the band. Now it's my initiative. It's not special initiative, but it's my initiative. So here's where Chronicle of the Kings can actually do some work here for me. Negate and discard all evil enhancements. So I can't use this card in special initiative but I can use it in just regular initiative. So that brings his band back. Let's see if he has any other strategies. Oh man, so close. <laughs> if he had anything there, I was just, the whole the game was over. <laughs> okay, four to three. And um, so yeah, I'm not sure how this would have worked because Daniel, I think, was negating Nazareth. I could have maybe played second coming to go grab Son of God and try to win the game here. But I, I think I didn't realize Daniel was like negating Nazareth. So the game plays on. So next turn, I can go like attack with Daniel, negate Nazareth, second coming, win the game, search for Son of God. Okay, switching three woes to servant by the river, just limiting my rescue attempt options. If opponent has cards he needs to search with, he could have tried to negate Nazareth, but maybe he knows I have a second coming in my hand. And so if he negates Nazareth, he just loses the game. So opponent already played their Son of God, so even if I got two Lost Souls in play right now, he couldn't win the game if he has his own second coming out. Okay. So this is where I realized that his manger was actually protecting his, his deck. And I was just a little bit unclear about what was happening here. Their manger protects their deck in, from my Nazareth. So again, that taking that Nazareth, such a big punt by my end. Just sitting in my territory causing me all sorts of misery. Okay. They just passed a turn, I think. Drawing cards for a turn. And here I make a little mistake. I think Nurgle Shazar is Daniel, but he's actually, what, Jeremiah? So I have to retrace my steps a little bit. A little bit of a misplay. So yeah, there's the moment where I put him in my hand, but he actually should not be. Quickly fix that. Okay. I have a shield now. That's great. No evil characters, though. Conan David, useless. Virgin Birth, useless. So let's see. Yeah, I think if I read Daniel correctly... I wish I could see what, see, I'm just going to read Daniel what he says. Daniel says, Daniel, where are you, Daniel? Uh, come now, Daniel. Negate fortresses. So yeah, attack here, negates Nazareth. Turns on my second coming. I could search my deck for Son of God and win the game, but it's just a line I don't see. Only see it in retrospect. That's the cool thing about like recording my games and getting to watch it. I get to learn even more from my mistakes and just think about like why I'm doing certain things and. I think next time, like if I if I play this game again, you know, I'm definitely not going to make the same mistake again. So, okay, I think both of us are, are kind of not realizing that Nazareth is, is being neg negated by Daniel. Okay, he's using a card that I think is underdecking some stuff. Shuffles my deck so I get to put out some more Lost Souls or draw some more cards, which could be a mistake because now I've opened myself up to like his second coming. So like let, let's turn, he says like, Let's say like he attacks me, rescues a soul, and now I have another lost soul in play for him to rescue with like a potential second coming. But cool thing, I have a shield in play. If he tries to search uh, with the second coming, I can shuffle a lost soul. So if I have this scenario where I only have two lost souls in play, that, that could come up. <laughs> My offense is looking so ragtaggy. I just have a couple little angels, no good enhancements that do anything. I'm really hoping I draw my son of God to finish this game off. I have no defense. I have to give a soul up. Okay, four to four. Yeah, my I don't think my defense can hold on one more turn. 
I'm ready to type GG in the chat because in my mind, I feel like they, they won. So there are my three cards for turn. There's a Son of God on top of my deck. And it's a Daniel card, so I can grab it with Foretelling Angel and win the game here. So there I go. So Foretelling Angel carries me to eventual victory. But I, I think I could have won a little bit earlier if I... I don't know. if In my mind, I thought he had Son of God, but I, he just had a second coming, which is being shut off by Nazareth. So I thought the game was over and he, he won. But he's telling me like the situation I didn't realize. If he tried... If Nazareth was negated... And he tried searching with Second Coming. I could have just shuffled the Lost Soul with Shield. So really close game. Came down to the very last turn. Thanks for watching. Maybe I'll post another gameplay video soon. But yeah, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.